ignition. When you hit the ignition folder, it opens up another two ignition folders. One is ignition map. If you push the ignition map once, it will bring up just your basic ignition map. Click twice on ignition modifiers folder and it opens up eight more folders. We have trims, which opens up a folder with nine buttons on it. It's like our fuel modifying trims buttons, we can do the same with our ignition. We've got three stages of load by three stages of RPM. We can increase and decrease our ignition as per our requirements. We can also do it down on the text area down below. We can do an overall trim of the whole ignition map. So if you need to move it up by a couple of degrees or or reduce it by a couple of degrees. We can do the overall trim to 30 degrees if we need to. We can individually calibrate the ignition outputs of the wolf. If you feel that one cylinder is running retarded compared to your others, we can actually increase that individual cylinder. Starting, if you hit once on starting. This is your delivered ignition timing by engine temp. We have three parameters, engine temp 0, engine temp 50 and engine temp 100. It will interpolate between those three parameters. Click once on the engine temperature file, activation on, and active above RPM. This will mean that your ignition starting will not be affected if that RPM is set higher than your cranking RPM. Click twice on your engine temp, click once on the engine temp compensation table. You'll see here that this is a degrees by engine temp. You can retard or increase up to 40 degrees or retard down to four, minus 40 degrees by engine temp. Click once on your air temp. You can see once again that activation and active above RPM. If that is set to higher than your cranking RPM, it will not affect your ignition delivery on startup. Click twice on air temp. Air temp compensation map. You will see that we can increase or decrease by 40 degrees via air temperature. Our special trims. Click once on special trims. Your special trims is used in the same way as your fuel trim, special fuel trim. You can have it activated by a input such as any of the auxiliaries or any of the normal inputs. You may want to have a button or some device that will retard or advance the ignition timing at a certain time. Click twice on the special trims once on the special trim table, you can increase by 40 degrees or decrease by 40 degrees over your trim device, whichever device you have, whether it be a switch or another sensor. Your rotary trailing ignition split. This is for rotary engines. Click twice on the rotary trailing ignition split, once on the RPM table. This will give you up to 45 degrees ignition split for your leading and trailing plugs. Your rotary trailing split will only be used in the event that your ignition device is set up for a rotary. Ignition lock. Click once on ignition lock. When activated, it will hold the ignition timing at a desired amount. 
This will allow you to check your ignition timing and make sure it's correct.